Welcome back, welcome back, my fellow music lovers and listeners. Welcome back to Multifaceted Media Entertainment. So today, as you can tell by the title, I got a bit of a different video for you guys. Today, I'll be going over what, in my opinion, are some of the key factors to making a good album. I'll also be going over some of the albums that I feel execute a lot of these factors very well. So yeah, without further ado, let's get it. All right, so the first key factor I want to be talking about today is cohesion. And I actually use that animation intentionally because cohesion actually has a lot to do with how the album comes together as a holistic piece. And what I mean by that is how well do the songs blend with each other sonically. See, there's a quote that I came up with myself and it goes, 10 bad songs cannot make a good album but 10 good songs can make a bad album. So if you have 10 individually great songs that don't meld or fuse with the other songs on the album well, then it's gonna create a kind of jarring experience for the listener. When you really want the album to feel like one continuous progressing story throughout. One album that I think does this particularly well, and this is actually one of, if not my favorite album of all time, and that is The Arc Android by Janelle Monet. Just pay attention to how one song transitions into the next. To be honest, if you're not familiar with these songs and you're not looking at the video, it would be extremely difficult for you to tell where one song ends and the other one begins. And she actually does this multiple times on the album as well. Right, so obviously it's not necessary to strive for this level of cohesion in every single album, but I just thought I'd give you an example of how songs that are this cohesive can make for a great listening experience. So I guess the point that I'm getting at here is the more cohesive your album is, the more it will sound like a complete body of work instead of a disjointed mess. So one of the next ingredients to making a good album that I want to talk about today is dynamics. Now at first this might seem as if it contradicts the first factor that I brought up but what I mean when I say you should be dynamic is you have to be able to switch your sound up just enough that it doesn't leave the listener bored. So there are different ways by which this can be achieved but one of the ways is to switch up your delivery or vocal inflections and your flow throughout the album so you can switch your vocal inflections either multiple times throughout individual songs across the album or you can do it even for entire songs so one artist that i think did this particularly well on a specific project is kendrick lamar on to pimper butterfly which is another one of my favorite projects take a listen What you want? You a house, you a car, 40 acres and a mule, a piano, a guitar, anything. Say my name is Uncle Sam on your dog. Motherfucker, you can live at the mall. You ain't got a lie to kick in my neck. You ain't got a lie. You ain't got a lie. You ain't got a lie to kick in my neck. You ain't got a try, so. I'm the biggest hypocrite of 2015. When I finish this, if you listen, then sure you will agree. This plot is bigger than me. It's generational hatred. It's cynicism. It's grimy little justification. 
so notice the way that he's using his voice differently in each track to complement the type of instrumental that he's over and the type of story that he's telling so during the song the black of the berry his voice was much more aggressive and his delivery was much more urgent and fiery throughout that section of the song but it's still pretty easy to tell that all three of those songs are from the same album based on how they sound so what that does is it keeps the album feeling fresh and keeps you entertained throughout its entire run and this method can actually be applied to the instrumentals that you use as well you can have key elements of the instrumentals change throughout each individual song to kind of keep the dynamic of the song you know more flexible and ever-changing all right so another way to improve the dynamics of the sound of your album is with features so first of all we need to get rid of the mentality that doing an entire album without any features somehow translates to you being a good or better artist because in actuality being able to recognize that a feature could greatly improve the sound or the quality of your song is actually artistry in and of itself and so is to be able to recognize the type of sound that a specific artist might sound good over so if placed well features can be a very welcome and important addition to a song to keep up the dynamics of it because that individual artist will be bringing their distinct and particular style to the sound of the song that you may not be able to bring yourself so yeah those are really the main tips that i wanted to mention in this video on how to improve the quality of your album another tip would be to try to keep the writing on the album as engaging as possible so that even if a particular listener isn't necessarily relating to everything that you're saying they're still interested to hear the story that you're telling you also gotta try to trim the fat you have to listen to your album multiple times after its final production and tell the particular songs or areas that are weak points during the album that you might want to cut out and that might improve the overall listenability of the project so yeah that about does it for today's video guys i hope this video was informative to say the least and i hope you enjoyed and listened all the way through so on that note i want to wish you guys a good day and please like and subscribe for more content like this and for music reactions and reviews coming in the future this has been multifaceted media and i'm out